Hi everyone, my name is Monica and I'm Karen and we'll both be demonstrating and explaining how to use pedestinite inhalant suspension with a nebulizer. Though commonly known as pomocort vesculus, this medication is an inhaled corticosteroid and is used for both maintenance and prophylactic treatment of asthma. Some important information to know about this medication before use is to let your doctor know if you may have an allergy to pedestinite or any part of the drug, any other allergies that you may have and what signs you've had with them. For example, itching, hives, shortness of breath, or cough. If you're having a breathing attack, it's important to know that you should not be using this drug, but to use your rescue inhaler instead. While using this medication, it's important to frequently check your blood sugar if you have diabetes, as it can increase your blood sugar more than usual. Do not stop this medication without the consent of your doctor. This medication can also cause otis media, meaning inflammation of the middle ear, respiratory infection, cough, and nosebleeds. Though it is rare, it is important to rinse your mouth after each treatment to decrease your risk of developing oral candiditis. Do not hesitate to contact your doctor or pharmacist if you have any further questions about this medication and its side effects. This medication is a suspension used with a nebulizer. Always wash your hands before setting up the nebulizer. This nebulizing system works by turning your liquid medication into a fine mist, allowing the medication to go directly into your lungs. These single-use ampules are aluminum wrapped and packaged in five ampule packs. Use one ampule per dose. Be sure to use Pomocort rest fuels with a jet nebulizer. Place your nebulizer on a hard surface and plug in your nebulizer. Connect the tubing to the compressor and to the bottom of the medication cup. Twist the ampule open and add the medication down the side of the cup. Place the top back onto the cup and connect the mouthpiece onto the medication cup. To keep the medication cup upright, turn on the nebulizer and wait three minutes for the medication to turn into a mist. Place the mouthpiece in your mouth. Be sure to sit upright and remain relaxed. Breathe through your mouth to ensure that medication gets into your lungs. Take two to three slow deep breaths in between each normal breath. You hear a sputtering sound when the treatment is complete and you will no longer see a fine mist. When the treatment is done, turn off the compressor and unplug the unit. Rinse your mouth following each treatment. Store the medication upright at 68 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Protect from light. Do not refrigerate or freeze. Once the aluminum package is open, the suspension should be used within two weeks. Store the nebulizer in a dry, safe place. Do not place other objects on top of the device. Common dosing for this medication is referenced from the GINA Guidelines 2015. Children less than 5 years of age are recommended to use a low dose of 0.5 milligrams per day. Children 6 to 11 years of age can either use low, medium, or high dose, which are 0.25 to 0.5 milligrams per day, 0.5 to 1 milligrams per day, or greater than 1 milligram per day, respectively. For adults that may use this medication for off-label use, such as COPD, the typical dose would be 2 milligrams every 6 hours. Finally, the top three side effects are increased risk of respiratory infection, otis media, and oral candiditis. Thank you for listening to our video. We hope you learned more about homocort rescues with us today.